welcome to our Brave Midweek Devotional. We hope this inspires you. Let's have a listen. So I wanted to look at uh, Matthew 16, verse 16. Um, and I, I'm just going to paraphrase it just to save a bit of time, really. And it, it's, um, it's where Jesus is with his disciples at Caesar Philippi. And uh, he, asks, uh, who, he, asks, he asks his disciples, who do people say I am? And um, some say John the Baptist, some say a prophet. But it's, uh, it's Peter that says that you're the Messiah, the chosen one, the one sent from God. And, uh, and Jesus says to him, this, this has not been revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. Uh, and I love that. Uh, but what, what strikes me is this, literally a few verses later on, uh, Matthew 16, verse, verse 23. Um, Jesus has got, uh, gathered all his disciples around him again. And he's, he's telling the sort of death uh, which he's going to suffer. I was going to die on the cross. And, and, and Peter, my hero, if I'm honest, like, and I says, never, never, Lord, never would I let that happen to you. And, and, and Jesus has gone from saying, this has been revealed to you by my father to saying, get behind me, Satan. The whole devotional here, I just want to look at, like hearing from God, like, and, uh, there's so much uh, I can relate to in Peter there. Like there's been times in my life where, where I know that God has used me and, and um, he's spoken into my life and uh, he's used me to speak into other people's life. And there's been times I've had it so wrong. Like, and I, well, I've had it personally wrong, I thought I've heard this from God and I've fallen flat on my face and I've given people words, been wrong. Like, and I, so just a quick couple, of, um, quick couple of points really. The first thing I thought I'd look at is, um, is, is the obvious really, is, is giving God lots sort of time and space to speak into our lives. Like, and I, you're going want, want to he, want to hear from him. Uh, I'm not always convinced people want to hear from God. I think people like the... Um, be leader of, of their own lives and and just crack on with things really like you know and so just just again the obvious um, when I think um, in the natural my relationships are like if, if I'm just speaking and then getting up and, and walking away if, if if I just have a marriage there with Marie and tell her what I think and ask her some stuff and just go away without her speaking there's going to be problems and <laughs> sometimes Marie will tell you there is problems and the same with my children like you know so for, for me when 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 you pray but like come, come with that heart, come wanting to hear from God, come expecting to hear from God. And before we get up and go about our business, give him time to speak, like, uh, like uh, all, all distractions, all uh, things that you've got to do for the day or what's happened in the day, all of them niggly things put to one side and give God that space. Um, what's it say in the Bible? Um, uh, you will find him when you seek him, when you seek him with all of your heart. God's not a liar. He, he will turn up, I'm convinced of that. Second. It's an obvious one, but it's one I'm probably most guilty of, really. It's like, lay down your own agenda, okay? So there's times where I come, come, before, I come before God and I pray. I pray for a job situation. I pray for my finances. I pray for someone else's healing. And I've really, really answered how I wanted to do that. God's got bigger plans. Like for, for as much as he loves me and for as much as he loves you and cares about you, there's more about your character uh, than, than he does your comfort. And... Uh, Hindsight's a beautiful thing. I think about certain situations where I've prayed and I've been disappointed, if I'm honest, with, with God. Uh, he's not turned up how I thought he would do. Um, but, but weeks later, sometimes you think, ah, that's what he's doing. It's the bigger picture. And the third one, um, a, a pointed one for me, is what to do when, when, when it's silent, when you hear nothing. Like, and I think that's a, it's, it's a, the biggest challenge for everyone. I don't care how long you've been a Christian for. We've been a Christian for five minutes or for 50 years, when, when, when you're seeking him and you're hearing nothing, it's hard work. I think Moses found it hard work when he was in the wilderness for 40 years, like, you know, it's hard work. So I've just got a couple of quick points. So, so n n number one is um, if he never speaks to you again, then uh, you've got enough there in the Bible. Uh, you've got enough of what he has spoken to you to, to, keep, to, keep, to keep you going. Number two, what, 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 what do you know about him? What do you know about his character, his nature? What do you know about, about his, his, his love? Is justice like you know, th th this, this sort of thing. Number three, um, quite poignantly, um, what was the last thing that he said to you? Like you know, maybe you need to go back and revisit that. Number four, sometimes not enough just to pray once. You've got to pray through things. There's times like in, in the Bible right, where you've got to pray and you've got to fast like you know, and and you've got you've got to really want you've got to really want to hear from God like you know, you've got to hunger. And number five, the obvious, maybe there's an obstacle there. Like maybe may, may there's sin, maybe there's something you need to put down, like, you know. And uh, I, I think if you're giving God that space, which is looked at earlier, I think eventually that will be, be revealed to you. 
Um, Lee, um, but, but but perhaps most, the most obvious was first set, certainly when we look at Peter right at the beginning. How do we know it's God? Number one, he's never going to go against his word. Right? So what, what's, what's laid out there in his Bible, he's never ever going to go against that. Number two, for me, he, he will confirm his word. Right? God knows how to speak to his children. He's a perfect father. The verse that says, like, uh, he knows how to shepherd his sheep. Like uh, His sheep know his voice. And uh, I think the more time you spend time in his presence, the more time that you know that, that that's, that's God. And, and, and I, I, think, I, I, think, I think also, like it, I know it sounds a bit, you, you need more than this really, you know in, in your knower really. Like, and uh, and I, I suppose also you need to look at how does it benefit his kingdom. Finally, um, it's, it's important to hear from God. I think, I think we, you need to, like, and, uh, in, in your, if, if you we claim to be followers of Christ, we need to hear his voice. We can't just like go through the motions of like reading a Bible every now and then and going to church. That's not enough. He, he desires relationship. And it's not just for us. Again, for as much as God cares about us, he cares about his kingdom and that he's called us to be his hands and his feet, called us to be his voice uh, and his heart as well. Like, uh, so the challenge before I leave here is when was the last time that you heard from God for yourself personally? Also, when was the last time you heard you had a word like for, for someone else or, or for something else. And if it's been a while, it's, it's a sit down, seek him and see what God's got to say. Um, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>